I've just been to Kirkstall B and M, as you can tell. Um, I've just spent quite a lot of money, but I had a big payday, huge payday. I haven't had a huge payday in ages. Um, did a load of overtime. time. I'm just waiting for the bus home now. Um, but yeah, um, I've got another two people ticked off my Christmas shopping list that I need to get them stuff. So I had like, I've spent a ten on each of them and I wanted to get, they've had like so much left I needed to buy them so I bought them their stuff today So, because um, I went also went last week on Friday um, but yeah, um, currently waiting for my bus to turn up but yeah, um, I spent quite a lot of money I'm not going to specify in the vlog um, I know it was a really really rubbish vlog really really rubbish but like, I was in the shopping mode and yes, I have got my Mask on, this one's from Superdrug, it fits me better than the other ones. <clears throat> but um, this time I spent so much more money, which I wasn't expecting. I really wasn't expecting, just as a total, I was there like poop. I was like poop. But surprisingly, I still got quite a bit of money left. I won't be going to be in them for a while, probably till next month, because once I've filmed all this, I'll be getting put on to like into my friends' gift bags and stuff. So I'm currently listening to my iPod, I'm currently listening to, now that's what I call, um, 100 Pates of Christmas. So, um, yeah, I'm really chuffed with what I've bought. Like, they don't give you much time at all to pack though, to pack your bags, which is really irritating. And I really don't like that, because I was, I put it all in the belt, and because I had a trolley this time, last time I had a basket, you know, a flowing basket. This time I had a trolley, and what happened was, it was like, next place, I shoved it on. I was shoved on, she started scanning, so she didn't give me a chance to pack as well. So I ended up packing um, quite badly. That's so why I keep looking at my bags. But yeah, um, currently in Kirkstall. I never knew how close B&M was. I never knew that B&M was so close. I just thought the closest one was the winning lead. So now I've got a b and I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I love B&M so much, like how cheap it is. I'm so happy. So yeah, I've got so many people ticked off my Christmas present list which I've been needing to tick off for a while. I'm so pleased I've done it and I don't want to end the vlog. Um, my bus is due in five minutes. Oh, I'm so happy I've been shopping. It's like a relief. Like It's Tuesday today by the way. Um, but yeah, um, really happy. Really, really, really happy. You've seen some of it as in some of the items because I put it in the vlog. Um, but this vlog will most likely be on the super, what super trip of, the, um, oh yeah, I've got my Christmas earrings in. <laughs> this vlog will most likely be on the haul, the A1 to so the airport is going to go in, so it's much brighter now, and I'm much more in the open. I look like a right idiot. But yeah, um, my bus is due in four minutes, and I'm hoping it comes soon, and I'm hoping there's space on the actual bus for me to place all my bags, of course. Uh, I don't want to sit upstairs and I'd rather have room for bags but yeah I'll see you when I get I'll see you again the bus guys. As you may be aware, I filmed on my, my phone, I didn't film on my camera, I didn't take my camera with me deliberately, 
because like it was obvious I was filming anyway and I'm falling on me and they didn't stop me no one was actually near me there was a member of staff anyway so mm. but yes I'm home um, the haul will be going up oh this vlog will be the haul anyway so the haul will be afterwards guys um, but yeah yeah I'm really happy with what I bought I'm just gonna now make sure that I actually picked up everything that I bought because um, cause she like scanned it through so quick and I wasn't actually packing at the time that she was scanning when she was scanning I was just putting stuff onto the conveyor belt because I did a trolley with me Um, I didn't have a chance to catch all the stuff in the bag so there was bags at the bottom of the like checkout area and some of it went under there and I'm panicking that some of it has gone under there and I've not picked it up and it's like I've spent so much oh my god I've got a huge spot I've spent so much and I'm like, I do not want to miss out on anything and I've spent and then picked it up. But yeah, I'm going to do that. But um, yeah, really, really happy with this haul. Um, really chuffed with what I bought. And I'm looking forward to doing the haul now. So uh, the haul the next, guys. So bye. Hi, subbies. How are you all doing? I'm just sat down currently snuggling in my blanket as I'm cold. It is now like one o'clock on Tuesday afternoon and I'm filming another B&M &M haul. I went to B&M today um, in Kirkstall, as you saw by the little mini vlog I did whilst I was out. And I have another haul this time, again. But this one's bigger than the haul from today's Friday and the last B&M haul was Tuesday. It's a lot bigger than that haul. Um, yeah yeah um the main excuse is i had a big payday a big payday than usual because i did quite a bit of overtime which i explained in the last video and i have to buy christmas presents and b&m is addictive i can tell you that b&m is addictive b&m is now one of my favorite shops to go to as i said i'm currently snuggled in a blanket i've got the candle on it's nice and cozy in here and yes i went to b&m this morning as you saw by the vlog um i didn't film much at all um because i was in like the shopping mood and everything but yeah um got the bus got the 10 to 9 bus guys i woke up early this morning to go to bnm i wanted to get there when it was just opened it opened at eight but i wanted to get there it was quiet and it's really really quiet in bnm and it was better last time on when i went on friday on payday it was packed the queues was like five minute wait and today i got straight to the front of the queue but yeah today I've got two bags full of B&M stuff, uh, most of it's Christmas presents and I do have a headache because this girl here has been stupid and has not drank today and I'm trying to make my way through this bottle but it's not working, um, but yeah, um, but yeah, today I've got B&M Hall, I also listen to Christmas music on the way there and on the way back as I've got my Christmas earrings in which you cannot see but I'll show you in the vlog and it's coming to the end of the month already and vlogmas is coming up in four days four days will be vlogmas day one yeah so yeah let's get on with b and m haul i'm gonna go in object lorada i'm just gonna go in the bag which is here i do have two like full bags they're full enough um of the reusable one which you saw in the thumbnail i'm not gonna well i will show you just for the video but i've got two of these bad boys and we've got a lot of different stuff from last time. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So I have ticked everything off the receipt and the receipt will be here because I also have taken a couple of items out due to the fact that the items are for two friends and they watch my videos. So yeah, I don't have seen it. And I do have a lot of food on my desk at the moment. Just my, me being greedy, me wanting to be prepared for Christmas is just, my brain's like, Trying to get everything done. I've only got three more people now to buy for Christmas. I've just paid for my mum's Christmas present. Finally, it's finally gonna get delivered this week. So excited. But yeah, once it's all done, I like being organised and it gives me that satisfaction when I get ticked one person off the list for Christmas list. So now that I'm like ticked most of the people off, I'm so happy. It is unreal. So happy. It's such a relief just to get it done. And I'm gonna now just sort out my bags. I'm back. Anyway, right, first bag. First bag. 
I bought some more of the Fox's Santa Santa's um, biscuit selection, as you saw last time. I did open a box straight after filming and took it downstairs. And Lucy ate all the party rings. You don't get a lot in this though. You get like three party rings and they're the mini version, so I've got a real bad headache for the mini version. But yeah, they're just like a really cute little family set. They're not the best, I must say that. For some reason, the biscuits in them have opened. They're like, do you know when your biscuits have got air to them, they go kind of soggy? like that a little bit but they're still crisp but yeah got some of them and they're for just some more biscuits for christmas just gonna have a quick drink because i tried to get this headache to go away day 150 again day 150 next item i bought was some dime bar minis you normally can only get these from like the airport like lba um in the oh, what's it called? duty three shop but b and do them and they've also got the milka chocolate biscuits but i stopped myself from buying them these were two pound and it doesn't tell you how many you actually get but it does say you get um 200 grams and there is so many portions apparently these are for me would have been cheaper to buy just the free pack i did buy the free pack from mum the normal free pack of dime bars i did buy them for my mum and she's very happy with them i one of the mini packs mini pack so i got this little mini pack for two pound for myself not her me naughty rachel me. next item is this puzzle collection word search and cross book crossword book this isn't for me but i find their books crap right there my god i find their books rather expensive i were trying to find like a just like a cheap normal size one but they didn't have any they had to have like jumbo ones so this one's a like 200 page long um word search and crossword i do word searches but i don't do about crossword so i got this from my grandma for christmas um for part of her present um as we will be going over there this year and they will be coming over here they're just gonna pick the presents up and um that's it um so yeah got the this 225 was this and yeah i know she likes crosswords so fingers crossed this will be a nice present i don't know i don't know guys I'm trying to get people ticked off their shoes my grandma's one of the last people to be ticked off as well because she's so hard to buy for like she doesn't want smells and she doesn't want like biscuits or food so I got us some party plates for Christmas Eve. These were £2 for 25 square pa party plates. They did have like snowy um, seat. There was another one which said like snowy weather or something with a polar bear on. But that wasn't exactly Christmassy. And now only she's over six, I was like, well, she'd prefer Santa one. So I got this, us this Santa one, 25 festive party plates. And it just has a little Santa on with the ho ho ho. And these were £2 for Christmas Eve nibbles and like Christmas Eve party food. Christmas Eve is on a Thursday this year. I'm working. Um, and then Friday is Christmas Day. But yes, Christmas Eve, party, food. Um, pa what am I saying? These are for Christmas Eve. Party food and just we have nibbles. And we just have like a, a big spread. And we just do that on Christmas Eve. And we stay up and watch Polar Express and stuff. And like Christmas movies. And yeah, so it's like a tradition every year we do. So I got 25 pasty. 25 party festive plates for two quid yeah i'm doing vlogmas this year so looking forward to it it might it's going to be definitely different to every other year that i filmed because obviously this year i'm not going to my grandparents house not seeing my dad um like shops are open and again on the 2nd of december but it's going to be a lot different to every other year because it's going to be all mask and stuff but i'm going to try and make it as fun as possible guys so they were two pound next item is this me to you cook, curl up and get cozy melting mallow hot chocolate bear two pound was this it is so adorable it's a hollow chocolate shaped bear containing marshmallows for making a delicious hot chocolate drink i see these on these bargain group that i'm on and what you do is just put it in hot milk and it melts i think it'd be rather terrifying to watch this melt but yeah i just find it really cute and yeah just me to you for two pound perfect gift perfect gift for me because it is for me um but yeah i think it's adorable i've seen these as i said on the bargain groups but i've seen the different ones where you can get there's hot chocolate bombs where you just drop it in but i couldn't find them in b and m in kirkstall but i found this one and i was rather chuffed with it so 
yeah, a little me to you um, hot chocolate bear thing. I personally prefer making them with um, cocoa powder, like the options ones. Options is my favourite hot chocolate. It is like the best hot chocolate Cadbury. Mm. Options, yes, options is like the best flavour. And it's an offer at the moment for two quid at Morrison's, not promotion, just I've stocked up on it because it's normally two, four pounds, five quid, so mm. I stocked up. I got some chocolate straws. These are two for a pound in Morrison's or 39p from B&M. I keep saying home bargains, B&M. But yeah, five servings, they're in date. I, I made sure every single thing I bought today that were food was in date because you do get some shops like Be Home Bargains and like Poundland. In retail, you have to check dates, obviously. And I just, with like saying the Morrison's, it's like more strict, whereas in like, I think, bargain shops because it got the stock goes through so quick it's harder to check dates and just because it sells normally it's short life stuff so i wanted to make sure the dates are all right but the dates are but yeah magic milk um chocolate flavored straws for 39p cheaper to get them from bnm than to get them from morrison's as you saw last time i got the electrify fabulosa disinfectant spray for clothing I do have a temperature one instead of a shock because it just clicks off. Um, I wanted the this is, um the clothing one, which is just for clothing only, not clean off. Um, this one is one I was wanting. This one is a disinfectant spray, like dental spray, where you spray it on the surface and wipe it down. I think. I think. Oh no, no need to wipe. So you just spray it on stuff and you're done. It, yeah, all in one disinfectant spray for hard and soft surfaces. Um, kills cold and flu viruses. Um, I did get it in the electrifier again because the smell of this is absolutely gorgeous. It smells so Christmassy. And when I spray this on my clothing, as in the little little spray bottle, um, it's my bedroom smell absolutely amazing for a couple of hours. So I got the big bottle for like cleaning, actual cleaning stuff, for, like cleaning hard surfaces instead of just the one for clothing. But yeah, this one was one forty nine. Yeah, 149 was this one, and it was originally, I think it said £2 something. But yeah, I've got that. No room for it in my bedroom. My bedroom hates B&M, and so does my purse. I then got myself a new candle. I love candles now that I've got confident um, burning candles and burning wax belts and lighting matches. Sounds weird, but I'm now confident doing it, so I thought I'd respond myself to a candle. Um, this is the drumstick squashes, and I used to love squashes, but now I don't, um, just for certain reasons. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells so nice, and it's in this really nice glass jar. And I can see there, actually, this is not, this is not for me. This is actually for a Christmas present. I'm not going to say that because I just don't want the person to, that I'm wanting to buy it for to know that it's for them. So, yeah, got this squashes, um, drumstick squashes, um candle and as you can tell it's a pretty thick candle as well and it also has the squashes thing on top and you can move the jar afterwards this was 2 99 and just a great gift isn't it a nice squashes raspberry one i then bought um this cute little disney princess trinket dish this is the disney castle in the middle and then it has this little um, note here which says make your own fairy tale this is also a gift for somebody i am going to clean it because it's quite dusty but i saw it and it was only two pound and i thought what a bargain is that it must have been reduced because it says now two pound and that's normally a reduced label but it is quite a cute little trinket dish and like even i would go for myself but i've already got a seashell one and then as you see there it just says make your make your own fairy tale really cute really chuffed with it and it is by the official disney so yeah, really chuffed with that. And it is made in China. But yeah, really chuffed, really cute. And that is going to make a gift. That is not for me. I've already got one. I then bought two bottles of Femme Fresh. These were a pound each as I needed some more. And like, because um, Leeds, I'm not going to bother going to Leeds because um, if I went to Leeds, the only shops I could be able to go to right now that are open are Poundland and Home Bargains. Whereas if I go to Kirkstall, it's only a so many minutes, it's like a 20 minute trip. And whereas Leeds, it's an hour trip on the bus, like a longer than an hour, and there's no point in me doing that. So, drive, go to Kirkstall and get myself 
the necessities so I got Femfresh. I could go, go to Morrison's and do it but Morrison's prices are just ridiculous for fem, Femcare so get it from B&M. Um, but yeah, then I also bought two of these, the other ones in the other bag. These are the Yankee Candle Home Inspirations or Christmas Tree and oh my god these smell absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so happy with these. But yeah, that's what I've got currently burning at the moment. A Yankee Candle Votive, whatever you want to call it. It is so, they're so cute. But these were only 89p each. I thought they were a pound. Let's just block my face. I thought they were a pound, but not 89p each. Really chuffed with them. And they made the aisle smell absolutely gorgeous. I cannot believe how strong they were. Like, I went down thinking, do they even do Yankee Candle? And they do. So I bought two. One for a friend, one for me. Oh my god, they smell amazing. That's gonna smell absolutely amazing once I start burning it. I'm just burning off um a Christmas uh, not Christmas. Yeah, Christmas um gift I got the other year, like last year, year before, um from a friend, and I'm just burning the rest of that candle off now. Then I can put my Christmas candles in. I'm looking forward so much to smelling. It's smelling so Christmassy in here. I've had a break from wax melts because I prefer burning candles at the moment, but I do still have wax melts and I still do burn them, but once I finish the candles, but yeah. And candle votives on 89p each and it's our Christmas tree. The other two I've got are Christmas Magic and Cinnamon and mul I think it's mulled wine and cinnamon or something, I don't know. But yeah, that's really nice smell. Last couple, couple of items in this bag are Philips milk chocolate pretzels. I love these. I had a craving, a severe craving when I was in period a couple of months ago and I was buying bags of these, they're so nice. Um, they're just the, perf the perfect combination of sweet, um, of chocolate and salty, it's so nice. So they were a pound, so I decided to buy some of them. I'm pretty sure they were, because I thought it had enough on it. No, they were a pound. I also bought these Maryland Cookies Birthday Cake Minis. I've never tried these before, it's special edition. I think it's because it's Maryland Cookies birthday but um it just says mini cookie mini cookies containing coloured sugar pearls and these were a pound on offer and I don't really do Maryland cookies because they just they just don't they don't have much taste to them. But I wanted to try the birthday cake ones so I got the birthday cake ones and it tells there's only 98 calories per bag and you get six mini bags in a pack so I got some of them and oh one more item in this bag and then we'll have to let my camera break otherwise it will shut off for me it's probably gonna shut off me now anyway but that's the first bag i've just got one last item which i didn't get id'd for which was quite amazing this is a present for somebody and this is the echo falls girls night in with gillian or is it gillian i don't know um belgian chocolates so you get a how many you get 187 milliliters of echo falls little diddy bottle and you also get an Echo Falls glass. No, it's a wine glass. I thought it was an Echo Falls glass. No, it's just a wine glass. But yeah, it's really cute. And it was only like £3. Where is it? It was just £3.49. Pretty good bargain is this. So I picked this up for it. And it comes with two chocolates and the wine and also the glass. But yeah, really chuffed with that. I do like buying these because these are ideal gifts. Um, I've never tried Echo Falls before. We do sell it work and does sell out. Um, it'd be cute if the glass was Echo Falls bay, um, themed, but it isn't. But yeah, it's really cute, and I'm really forward to gifting that for her for Christmas. But yeah, that's that. And now I'm gonna let my camera have a break before I go on to the next bag. So I'm back. My camera has just had a five minute break because it will click up off, click off on me if it gets too warm. Um, I've just sorted out some stuff, just put some stuff into the gift bags as I have got gift bags on my bedroom now. I've got literally like six gift bags for my friends, for my grandparents. Just I need to get stuff from my, my wardrobe's too full you see and I just want to get stuff into bags and then I can once I've complete like completed each person and got them all their Christmas presents because I've got a set amount for each person I, then wrap it, I can then wrap it all up and get it done and dusted and then ask that person if they would come and pick it up or if they, want, if they want me to drop it off just so that my bedroom is more organised with it. So the next bag and the final bag as I only took two bags with me but I could have got a lot more but I didn't. Um, I got 12 pack of Milky Ways for Lucy. These are £2. Um, these are like the proper big size as well. They're not the diddy diddy ones. At Morrison's you get the a six pack of these for £1.25 at the moment on offer. At Bean and it's 12 pack, 
for £1.99. Pretty big deal, really happy with that, and no Lucy's gonna like them. So I did say I would get some for this morning before she went to school. So I said um I'd get her a little treat, so I got her that. I don't even need a receipt because I don't know how much these are off, off by heart. I then got a diddy little bottle of the big bottle of Electrify um, disinfectant spray for um, clothing. I'm pretty sure it's for clothing. It's, yeah, when it's used, it's disinfectant. Ugh. Oh, you're supposed to spray it and wipe this one. Okay. But yeah, this is for 79p. It's a diddy little diddy bun and it's so cute. And it's just ideal for obviously traveling and stuff this could be we'll do really good on um, trips like wales and holidays and stuff but yeah i've got a diddy one of the big one i've got to flip it back of my throat again the next item is some rainbow drops i haven't had rainbow, rainbow drops in years actually um these are in date by year really good you get four packs in here for a pound. I love rainbow drops, so does my mum. Um, they're just sugar coated puffed maize and rice. They are gorgeous. And nothing else much to say. Haven't had weasel, weasel rainbow drops in years, and I'm really looking forward to having them again. So, I that or on my cherries order as well. So, as you can see, I'm out shopping at B&M instead of cherries. And it gets me out of the house. And here is the second young candle for teeth. For teeth. I don't know how you say it. Um, that one's mine. Next item is this shower gel. Had it before. This one's now while always loves you. And this was once I found it. Once I find it, this was a pound from B and M, and it's a big 400 ml shower gel. I needed some more shower gel, so I decided also at B and M, B and M, I'd get some. They do have. Do you know the coconut original sauce shower gel? They do have that for the big bottle like the humongous bottle for 1.98 but I was like mm, I don't know I'll get a little one so this one smells absolutely amazing so I've got that one because I need some more shower gel and there's no room for to put my dresser next items are I'm gonna find all five packs last time I got the galaxy packs of these this time I got more teasers um for friends and me so I got five of them they're all the same, all the same, so I'm not going to show you one. Where am I going to pop them? I don't have a clue. These are the Maltesers Hot Chocolate gift sets. So you get two little pouches of hot um, Maltesers Hot Chocolate and you also get mini marshmallows. They're just really ideal for obviously presents and stuff. So I've got two, five of them. One of them's for me, the rest are for presents. They're just little mini gifts. So they're a pound each. I just love how organised it is, how you get two... Um, how we get? I think you get two packets of the hot chocolate, and then you get marsh you get hot marshmallows. But yeah, really cute and they're just ideal. Ideal. It'd be better to get like just the massive tub of hot chocolate and then get marshmallows, but it's just easier to get that one than it is to get um the big set. And then I also got another one of the galaxy ones as well because I forgot somebody that were a pound. And I must say the design of them is quite cute. The next item is... I've just woken up. Oh my gosh, Hope. Is it such a deep sleep? Should I have woken up yet? I just got... I got the cats on... Um, last time I got them Dreamies. This time I got them Temptations. This is a huge 90 grams of Temptations for a pound. These are the ones um, with salmon. So it's a huge top of them but i've got them i'm not going to open them until i've got um until they've used all of their dreamies which i have around here which i got last time yes hello queenie's come to say hi just give us a minute there the, well hope's in a deep sleep so i shan't heard the cat treat yet but queenie's copping them all up but yeah i don't want to open that box because i want to open up open over there but there they were pound and i'm gonna They've always been true anyway. I got three boxes of Poppets um, Toffee because these were three for a pound or like 49p each or something. So I got three of them. Three boxes of them. Saved 17p. Wow. 
I also got myself some gloves. These are ladies gloves one pack but they're alphabet ones. So I got my initial R uh, and I just, the thermal ones are too big. Well, they're perfect size but because of how chunky they are, it's impossible to move your hands. You can move your hands but it's like really hard. So I just wanted some like basic nice ones but then I saw they had alphabet ones in and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get some alphabet ones. So these were £2, a really nice shiny tag. <laughs> One uh, one pack for two quid and they only had one pack of the R left so I got them and they're black and I'm going to try them on now because I haven't tried them on. Of course I haven't tried them on. I'm going to try them on in the store so I'm going to try them on now. They do have that annoying tag on the inside. Um, But yeah I just wanted some, oh these are soft these. I just wanted some gloves for when I go out. Um, Do you know that in the last video I said I wanted gloves for like a cheap one pound for two pairs gloves that's what I mean. But when I saw these ones, they didn't have any adults um, two pack for a pound cheap gloves. They only have them for kids. So when I saw these, I thought these are ideal. They've got my initials on. They're cute. Cool ours. Um, they're cute. They're perfect. They're soft. They're going to keep my hands warm. And now Queenie wants to leave my room. But yeah, these are just ideal. Really soft. And they're actually quite comfy. So they're going to keep my hands warm when I go out. With it being cold, my hands go blue. I think everybody's does, but mine, well, actually, that's not true. Mine go blue, purple, because I've rain ads, and it's ridiculous, because then they grow cracks and stuff, so I'm trying to keep them as warm as I can. And it's nearly two o'clock. I got some more. I've got these nages. These are Smarties um, buttons. They were cheaper to get them from B&M than to get them from um, Morrison's or Sainsbury's or Home Bargains or Pound Shop. These were 89p each as they are on clearance, so I've got two bags for myself. Can you sense a theme here? I was, I wasn't even hungry. I was just like, I want to treat myself, so I did. I then got some nail polish remover. I haven't had this nail brush remover in years. I, I've been using Silly Hand so much you can see right there. I've literally got a couple of uses left out of it. Um, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing because it's telling me to get up and walk around. Because I need to get my steps in. Um, but this is the nails. This is just the classic nail polish remover. This was a pound. I haven't had this in years. Because only I, I've only ever known the pound shop to do this. But being them do it for a quid. They also had this company doing acrylic and hard take off nails. That one's 149 And I don't want that one. I'm just using normal nail polish. So I've got the nail polish remover. A pound. Um, it's only because Asda is the cheapest place to go get to a handsome nail polish remover. But they're short at the moment. And I'm not going to go to Pudsy to go get some. So I got it from B&M. Um, I got some um, Christmas decor Christmas baking decorations, which can also be put on anything else, so like hot chocolates and like top of spray cream, which is what we're doing at the moment. With with Mum's got hot chocolate, I've got hot chocolate, and well powder. We've got different powders each, and um, we've all we've each got a bottle of spray cream, as in whipped cream in a can, if that makes sense. And these, these would look great on top. Um, but yeah, these are the Betty Winters home baking, which I got last time um, for dec baking decorations. But these can be used on anything because they are quite small. Um, but you get the green Christmas decorations. So you get little stars. I'm going to try and zoom in, but it probably won't work. Oh, it will. You get little green and white and red stars. You also get silver balls. They're gorgeous, but very hard. Yeah. Um, oh my god, I'm buzzing again. Oh, my YouTube videos are like, oh, it's been live an hour nearly. You get green Christmas trees, super cute. And you get little gingerbread men, which they are absolutely adorable. And these are a pound, really chuffed sure for them. I definitely recommend them. Um, I'm going to use them for like um, buns and cakes and stuff. So they're ideal. I also got the green one, no, the red one, um, which is completely different to the green obviously so in here you get green and red oh ho that's holly and ivy or is that holly that's holly but like you get the three um circles of red and then little leaf you also get green like all i can describe this as is like crystals and then you get green and red candy canes and i think there's christmas trees in there you know yep there's christmas trees and candy canes in there so adorable and you also get red crystals so they're really cute Oh my god, ideal for ice cream, baking, and, cre and hot chocolates. I haven't had these in years. I used to go from, when in my grandparents' house, yeah, this is like when I was younger, 
we used to ha um, be able to put um we used to have sprinkles to put on our ice cream after tea and it always used to come in this little ideal um sprinkle dispenser thing and then we stopped doing it and it's been years since I've actually had one of these so I just with them and they're a pound each I am pretty sure yeah pound each I went for a purpose this time last time I ran my mom whilst at B&M said and she not pick up so I didn't bother getting them and I was going to ask her if she wanted some window markers so when I got home and I asked her she said yeah you should have got them did you get them I said no she said get them next time then so I got two packs I don't know if she wanted two packs or not but I got two packs these are the Crayola washable window markers ideal of Christmas Halloween whatever season wants to be these were more like these are rather expensive um I think they're like four pound each three night and I'll get the receipt now I've, um these were Three ninety nine each. Yeah, these were three ninety nine. Other, other. Yeah, these are three ninety nine each. Um, and they're just um, window markers, so they're not gonna they're gonna easily come off your windows. Um, so you don't have to worry about them. They're not permanent, but they're like window ones, so it's easy to remove. It does say in the back how to get them off, and my camera inside to quit on me. So I'm just seeing some um smart buttons. As I was saying, window markers. I'm hoping I actually filmed that. <clears throat> it does say like um, when to wash it off, when when not to use it, etc. But yeah, real chuffed with them, three ninety nine each. Um, it's gonna be fun to um, paint on the put pen on the window, but it's good to know they'll come off. So yeah, three ninety nine each. Next couple of items are chocolate. As per usual. Got some matchmakers for myself. These were a pound, the cool mint ones. Matchmakers are like a staple for Christmas. I absolutely love matchmakers, so got them. And then the rest are Christmas presents. So I bought two Cadbury selection boxes. These were 89p each. Just diddy ones for friends. Just little diddy ones. And you get a fudge of Freddo buttons, Killer Whale and Chomp. And then I got three of the white pack for Nestle, um, in which you get Rolo, Aero, Munchies, Toffee Crisp, Kit Kat and Yorkie. These were one ninety nine each, so I got these for friends and family as well. But yes, guys, that was it. Um, I know it's been another B&M haul, but you shall be seeing a lot more B&M hauls in the future now that I know where the nearest one is. And that it is a, in my eyes, a superstar, so... Yeah, please like, subscribe, and below. I shall see you all on Tuesday for a new video. And please bear in mind, oh my god, Tuesday is Vlogmas. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you on Monday. No. I'll see you on Tuesday, guys, with Vlogmas and the main video. So, yes, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and below. And please also bear in mind about Vlogmas being rubbish this year, as it has done every year, but this every other year, but this year's, there's a big excuse of lockdown and COVID and. Yeah, life. So yes, guys, I'll see you, see you all on Tuesday by new video and Vlogmas. Bye, guys. Prince has smile. Be safe. Be responsible. Wear a mask and enjoy life. That's not becoming money at all, but please just be safe out there and social distance and wear a face mask and just do the obvious. Yeah, I'm gonna, what's the word? There's a word. There's a word, I can't remember the word though. So yes guys, see you on Tuesday. Fuck me. Bye, can't believe I'm even saying that. Bye guys. I also have a November PO box opening coming up next month as well because I will go to the depot this week sometime to pick up the depot, the PO box if I've actually received anything. Bye guys.